Hi, this is Ricky Tejada coming to you with one moment of inspiration. I'm preparing for our Good Friday services that are going to happen here at Covenant Church Colleyville, and I'm reflecting on the things that are happening in our society. There's so much racial tension. There's the big debate about gay marriage and, and alternate lifestyles and discrimination and rights and all of those things. You know, in our society, there's this question that is asked. Is there sin? Many people believe that there is no sin. They say this, that what's right for me might not be right for you, and what's right for you might not be right for me. It is what we call relativism. But let me ask you this question. Is there a thing called sin? Is there? Here's what I believe. I believe there are moral absolutes. I believe that there is a clear standard of right and wrong. Why do I believe that? I believe it because of this very question that could be asked by us all. If there is no sin, then why did Christ die on the cross? Why did Christ become eternally separated from his Father? He cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why did he hang from that cross as a common criminal? I submit to you it's because of sin. I love a quote from Martin Luther, and he says this, Jesus became the greatest liar, perjurer, thief, adulterer, and murderer that mankind has ever known. You could say this, that he became the greatest fornicator or the greatest homosexual. Did he commit these sins? No, he did not commit these sins, but here is the reality. He became sin for us. He became sin for you. He became sin for me. And the scripture says this, He who knew no sin became sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ. I believe that Christ came. I believe that He lived. I believe that He died. I believe that His death has atoned for my sin, for your sin. And this weekend... Let's not let it be business as usual this weekend for our Good Friday service and for our Easter services, wherever they're happening. I want you to celebrate the fact that our God has made a way for us to live without the power of sin dominating our lives and He has removed the penalty of sin, which is death. Oh yes, there is sin. Christ's death on the cross is the clearest example that there is. So don't ignore it. Do something about it. Get up. Go to church. Reflect on his death. And celebrate his resurrection. God bless you. Have a great day.